Throughout history, humanity has often faced moments where vast reservoirs of knowledge have been lost, setting civilizations and progress back by decades, centuries, or even millennia. From the flames that consumed the scrolls of the Library of Alexandria to our present-day predicament with the impending digital dark age, our pursuit of advancement is intermittently disrupted by these unfortunate erasures. Whether due to calamities, human actions, or the mere evolution of technology, these serve as poignant reminders of the impermanence of our achievements and the continuous challenge of safeguarding our intellectual legacy. The Great Library of Alexandria, situated in the heart of ancient Egypt's bustling metropolis, stands as a poignant symbol of the insatiable human thirst for knowledge and the fragility of collective memory. Envisioned by Ptolemy Wa Sota during the Hellenistic period, the library was more than a repository of scrolls. It was the epicenter of intellectual exploration and discussion, attracting luminaries like Eratosthenes, who calculated the Earth's circumference there with surprising accuracy. This magnificent institution boasted an estimated half-million scrolls, an awe-inspiring collection that spanned from the intricate wisdom of Babylon and the philosophies of Greece to the scientific treatises of Persia and the chronicles of far-off lands. The library's mission was grand. To possess a copy of every book in the world, agents were dispatched to every corner of the known world to procure texts. Ships docking in Alexandria were even searched for books, which were then copied, with the originals stored in the library and copies returned to the owners. This hunger for knowledge turned the library into the most comprehensive archive of human thought of its time. However, the details surrounding its decline and eventual destruction remain shrouded in mystery and debate. Some point to Julius Caesar's siege of Alexandria in 48 BCE, where a stray fire may have spread to parts of the library. Others look to the religious riots of the 4th century CE, which led to the destruction of pagan temples with Theophilus, the Patriarch of Alexandria, being a significant actor. Later, the decree of Theodosius in 391 CE, which ordered the closure of all pagan temples, might have been another blow. The final chapters of the library might have been written by the decree of Theophilus's successor, Theodosius II, which led to the destruction of all pagan temples. But the nuances of its end are hard to pin down due to the paucity of contemporary records. Each account of damage, whether by accident or intent, not only signifies the loss of physical scrolls, but symbolizes the erasure of entire epochs of understanding, cultures and nuanced wisdom. It's a tale that underscores the vulnerability of knowledge repositories, highlighting the impermanence of even the most revered and guarded of human creations. Nestled deep within the heart of Mesoamerica, the ancient Maya civilization flourished, leaving behind a rich tapestry of culture, art, and knowledge. Among their most treasured contributions were the Maya codices, intricately designed screenfold books written on bark paper or hun and coated with lime for preservation. These codices contained a wealth of information from astronomical tables, rituals, calendars, and hieroglyphic writings that provided invaluable insights into the Maya's complex understanding of time, the cosmos, and their intricate religious practices. But as the tides of history shifted, the Spanish conquest in the 16th century marked a devastating blow to the Maya civilization and with it their written records. Catholic missionaries, particularly Bishop Diego de Landa, deemed the Maya texts as heretical, leading to a ruthless campaign to eradicate them. In an event now infamously known as the Auto de Fe in 1562, countless Maya codices were burned in the main square of Mani. The flames that day consumed vast repositories of knowledge, obliterating a deep understanding of the Maya's spiritual world, their history, and their advanced mathematical and astronomical calculations. Today, only three unquestionably authentic Maya codices are known to survive. The Dresden Codex, the Madrid Codex, and the Paris Codex were the possible fourth. The Grolier Codex still debated among scholars. These remnants offer a tantalizing glimpse into a bygone era, underscoring the significance of what was lost. The burning of the codices is not just a loss for the Maya, but for humanity as a whole, a poignant reminder of the impermanence of knowledge in the face of conquest and dogma. Yet despite this immense loss, the resilience of Maya culture persists, as modern scholars, aided by the decipherment of Maya glyphs and the oral traditions of their descendants, continue to unravel and appreciate the mysteries of this ancient civilization. In the Annals of Lost Knowledge, 
The burning of the Jaffna Public Library in Sri Lanka stands out as a poignant testament to the catastrophic impact of civil unrest on cultural heritage. Established in 1933, this library was not only the pride of Jaffna but one of the largest in Asia, boasting a collection of over 97,000 books and manuscripts. This vast repository included priceless ancient texts, palm leaf manuscripts, cultural and historical documents and newspapers that chronicled centuries of local history. However, the library's significance transcended its physical contents. It was a beacon of knowledge for the Tamil community in Sri Lanka, serving as a center for research and a venue for cultural events. Its prominence was such that scholars and students from various parts of the world would visit, seeking to immerse themselves in the rich tapestry of knowledge contained within its walls. But as the ethnic tensions between the Tamil and Sinhalese communities in Sri Lanka escalated, the library found itself ensnared in a web of political and racial animosity. The night of June 1, 1981 marked a dark turning point. As tensions flared, an organized mob, allegedly with support from state security forces, descended upon the library. The ensuing arson attacks saw the magnificent institution reduced to smoldering rubble and ash. The world watched in horror as flames consumed irreplaceable manuscripts, leaving behind a void that no amount of restoration could truly fill. The aftermath of the burning was profound. The act was not merely an attack on a building, but a calculated move to erase cultural memory and identity. The Tamil community felt the loss deeply, perceiving it as an attempt to undermine and obliterate their historical presence in the region. The event also intensified the ongoing civil conflict in Sri Lanka, further polarizing communities and serving as a grim precursor to the decades-long civil war that ensued. In recent years, efforts have been made to rebuild the library and while the structure now stands restored, the invaluable treasures it once housed are gone forever. The burning of the Jaffna Public Library remains a somber reminder of the fragility of cultural heritage and the dire consequences of letting intolerance and hatred go unchecked. It underscores the importance of preserving and safeguarding our collective memory, lest we lose the very threads that weave the tapestry of our shared human experience. In the contemporary age, our vast reliance on digital media to store, retrieve and disseminate information presents an ironic paradox. While the internet and cloud storage seem to promise near-eternal preservation of data, there lies a looming threat that future generations might be barred from accessing a significant portion of our digital history, propelling them into what experts term as a digital dark age. This concept isn't about losing power or internet connections, but revolves around the idea that as technology advances, the software and hardware required to access older digital files become obsolete. Imagine crucial historical data, photos, videos and documents saved in a format or on a device that future civilizations can't decode or operate. Further compounding the problem is the sheer volume of data produced daily. In our urge to document every minute detail, discerning what is vital for posterity, becomes an overwhelming challenge. The proliferation of storage formats, from floppy disks and CD-ROMs to solid-state drives and cloud systems, means that consistent long-term access is not guaranteed. For instance, consider an old WordStar document from the 1980s or an artwork made on early versions of Photoshop. As software companies upgrade or go out of business, the capability to open or correctly display these older file types diminishes. Moreover, digital storage is not infallible. Hard drives corrode, CDs get scratched, servers crash, and online platforms can shut down, leading to potential irreversible data loss. In contrast to physical books, carvings, or manuscripts that have lasted millennia, digital data, if not continually maintained and transferred to current formats, faces the risk of becoming inaccessible or vanishing entirely. Thus, while the digital era has revolutionized how we capture and spread knowledge, it's accompanied by a pressing urgency to develop robust preservation strategies, ensuring that our digital legacy remains accessible for eons to come. The decline and fall of the Western Roman Empire, a watershed event in world history, marked the end of ancient civilization and heralded the onset of the Middle Ages. For centuries, Rome had been a beacon of progress, a powerhouse of culture, technology and military might, effectively establishing an empire that spanned from Britain in the north to Egypt in the south 
and from Spain in the west to Persia in the east. However, by the 5th century AD, a confluence of external pressures and internal decay brought about its dramatic collapse. Several factors collectively precipitated the empire's downfall. Barbarian invasions, particularly by the Visigoths, Vandals and Huns, relentlessly tested the empire's boundaries, eventually breaching its defenses and sacking Rome itself. Economic struggles played their part as rampant inflation, heavy taxation and a declining agricultural sector weakened the once thriving Roman economy. The empire also faced religious and cultural transformations, with Christianity's rise causing societal shifts and potential rifts among the populace. Additionally, political instability was rife, with a rapid turnover of emperors, rampant corruption and power struggles weakening the governance structure from within. Yet. While the Western Roman Empire crumbled, the Eastern Roman Empire, later known as the Byzantine Empire, managed to survive and even flourish, preserving much of Roman culture and knowledge for another thousand years. However, the loss of the Western half had profound implications. The vast troves of knowledge housed in Roman libraries, schools and institutions, including countless texts from ancient scholars, were either destroyed or fell into obscurity. The engineering marvels and architectural feats of Rome ceased to be replicated in the regions the Empire once ruled, leading to a period often characterized as the Dark Ages. And as always, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Thanks for watching.